to be in your pride when my way is done. Lord, keep me by thy side when my faith grows weak. Hallelujah. Only let me see something in my life, Lord, that thou hast done for me. Oh, Lord, don't let me fail. I want to be in your bride when my way gets dark. Lord, keep me by thy side when my faith grows weak. Hallelujah. Only let me see something in my life, Lord, that thou hast said together, Lord, don't let me fail. I want to be in your bride. Hallelujah. When my way is dark, Lord, keep me by thy side. When my faith grows weak, hallelujah, only let me see something in my life, Lord, that thou hast me glory to God hallelujah father God in the name of Jesus God we come to thee oh God in your name Lord hallelujah thank you for this day thank you for this opportunity to approach your throne God hallelujah coming to you for strength God coming to you for guidance oh God we look unto you God our eyes are on you Lord hallelujah hallelujah our eyes are on you Lord hallelujah help us in the name of Jesus God we ask you to come into our midst today meet every need God you know the needs of your people you know where we stand you know we have need of you know the desires of our heart God God in the name of Jesus, we're asking you to meet the need. Oh, God, we ask you to give the desire of our heart, Lord. We desire that that's in your will. Hallelujah. So we're asking in this confidence, God. We have the confidence that you hear us. Hallelujah. We got evidence that you hear us. Glory to God. So for this, God, we say thank you. We thank you in advance. Hallelujah, because you hear it. Hallelujah, you hear the prayers made in this place. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this place. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you, Lord, for the freedom to come into your house, God. Thank you, Lord, for the altar where we can lay our burdens down. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. For your grace and mercy. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we want to be in your bride. Hallelujah. Shanda. We want to be a part of that church. Hallelujah. That bride. Glory to God that have made herself ready. Hallelujah. We want to be in the church triumphant. Glory to God. We want to walk in your way, God. We want to do your will, Lord. We want to walk circumspectly, oh God. In and out among your people, God. Hallelujah. Let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in our sight. God, we want to please you. God, we want to live right. Hallelujah. Help us today, God, in the name of Jesus. Somebody may be sick right among us. Somebody may be sick on the line, God. Touch, God, heal and deliver. For you are Jehovah Rapha. You are a healer, oh God. Touch, Lord. Somebody need peace of mind. You are Jehovah Shalom. Touch, Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody may need a way made. You are a provider. You are Jehovah Jireh. Provide God. Only you can do it, Lord. Only you have what we have need of, God. Comfort, Lord. You said you're sitting the comforter. Somebody's heart is broken right now. Somebody is missing a loved one right now. Comfort. 
Lord God, like only you can, in the name of Jesus. God, as we go on through this day, lead us and guide us, God. Help us to walk in love. Help us to walk in unity. Bless your churches everywhere, God. All those that's calling on your name, God. All of our sister churches, God. Our Bishop Jordan, God. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Our Vice Chairman, Pastor Deary, God. Oh, God. Pastor Scott, God. Hallelujah. Narita, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The entire CAF, God, you know all things. Touch Linda right now. Linda Coleman right now, God. You see where she is and what she's doing. God, in the name of Jesus, touch. Hallelujah. Pastor Jason Mitchell, God. Touch God. Work it out, God. Fix it, God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless your people everywhere. Hallelujah. We want to do your will, God. Hi, God. We want to do your will, Lord. Strengthen your people, God. Strengthen our physical bodies. Strengthen the spirit, man, God. In the name of Jesus. Somebody need to be revived, God. Somebody need to be Come back in the bowl, God. Reclaim, God. Bring back the backsliders, God. Save the unsaved, God. Change hearts and mind, God. The wayward ones, God, in the name of Jesus. Somebody is sick in the mind. God, you're able to regulate the mind, God. Regulate. Regulate the mind in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, somebody's wondering. I pray for settlement right now. Settle that situation. Settle that mind, God. Shadow that, Lord. Fix it, Jesus. Fix it like only you can. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We're establishing you, God. Your word is ever settled in heaven. I, God, and we are standing on your word right now. Standing on your promises right now. For you alone are worthy. You alone are worthy. So we give you the praise. Have your way, God, in our midst today. Bless each and every one of us. Bless our pastor and our elect lady in a special way. God, replenish their strength, God. We pray for strength right now. In the name of Jesus, they've been very busy all week long, God. All month long, God. All year long, God. Oh, God, but I'm asking for a refreshing strength, God. Hallelujah. Keep their hearts encouraged, God, as they work in this part of the vineyard, God. Bless our community, Lord. Hi, God. You know what's in this community. You know what's on this part of the vineyard. Oh, God, touch in the name of Jesus. We ask you to bind every spirit, God. We bind every spirit that's not like you in the name of Jesus. You said you gave us power. Oh, Lord, I'm gonna So in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name. We're coming in the name. Ah, oh, the name of the most high God. We're coming in the name. We're coming in the name. Bind every spirit, God. Every hindering spirit. We speak to it. In the name of Jesus. Now, God, have free course in this place, God. Loose every binding spirit. Loose every chain, God. Loose every chain. Break every chain. Hey, God. Set the captive free, God. And we bless your name. Free to give you the glory. The glory belongs to you. It's yours, God. We give it to you. And we bless your name. And. Hallelujah. For this. We give you praise and we bless your name. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run in and they are safe. And we bless your name. And we bless your name. Jesus. 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 We bless you. You bless us now. We bless you. Hi, glory to God. We bless your name. Jesus. 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 Hot to most shanda, Jesus. Jesus. We call your name. 
because we're blessing you right now, Jesus. 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 We bless you. Jesus! Hallelujah! Jesus! Jesus! We bless you today. Oh, no, 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 Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know about your temple, but this train is moving through the building right now. God, glory. This train is filling the temple. Let it fill your temple until there's no more room for things that's not like God. Jesus. 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 Jesus! Call him until you feel him! What I don't care if you on Zoom. Call him! I don't care if you on Facebook. Call him! If you need him! I tell you about Shanda. Call him! Yeah, he got a name. And he knows his name. He will respond. Glory. At this time, we're going to have our scripture reading by Evangelist Clark. Glory, glory, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus! Hey, Shama, it's my Shanda! Hallelujah! Glory, glory. Ah! Hey, Shanda, Messiah! Hallelujah, Jesus! Glory, glory. It's in my Satira Rosaya. Oh, Shanda, my city, it's a Baha! Satira Rosaya! A Shandi Rosia! Glory, she's in a Massa! Hey, God! Oshana mama Isaiah 
not about me. It's not about you. For Zion's sake. For Zion's sake. Will I not hold my peace. And for Jerusalem's sake. I will not rest. Until the righteousness. Thereof go forth. As brightness. And the salvation thereof. Is, a lamp, is as, as a lamp that burneth. And the Gentiles shall see thy righteousness and all kings thy glory. And thou shalt be called by, not, by a new name, which the mouth of the Lord shall name. For Zion's sake. Do you hear what I say? For Zion's sake. This is not about us that we keep coming. This is not about us. This battle is not about us. This don't belong to me. I'm not standing here to please nobody. I come because I love him. I come because I know and who I serve. I come because I know. who I believe in, who I put my trust in, who's going to answer, who's going to deliver. So if you here for any other reason than that, you better check your reasons. Check the reason why you came. I didn't just come just because it was Sunday. I didn't come because it was on the list to do. I came. I came because he came. He came for me one day. I came because he saved me. And I'm grateful. And I want somebody else to get it. I came because if nobody come, I'm grateful. I, that's why I came. I came to give him glory. I came to hear the word. I came to be obedient to the word. I came to lay my sacrifice down. Why do you step into the house of God? 
see me. You're supposed to see Jesus. You're not supposed to come to my rules of the church. You're supposed to come because you want Jesus. is, yeah, we bought the building. The building is paid off. But Zion, it ain't paid for. We didn't pay for it, brother. God paid for it. So the owner of Zion, the owner Check your reason why you come. 
Check your reason why you don't come. Check the reasons why you're not at church. Check your reason why you're at the church that God didn't tell you to go to. Check why you disobedient. That means you got to check what's in your heart. Check your iniquity. Check your heart. Check your way. Because God is on his way back. And you know what? We got to stop chance saying that. Because it ain't no he on his way. Because all he got to do is step into time. That's all he got to do is step in here. That's not a, he, he don't have to come down a road to get here. He's everywhere. So if he decides to step in a time and say, time stop, that's what he can do. So guess what? If he does it today, are you ready? Have you done what he said to your teeth, dotted your eyes, have you been to the altar again and checked yourself? Have you asked God, where am I in you? You need to ask God, where am I? Who am I? And let him tell you. right and lead God's people right it's time out for the people in the pews that's causing disruption in the church God see you you better be glad he ain't cut you off yet the one that's caused that's so discord you better be glad he ain't cut you off yet but then again you don't even know if he has If you've been rejected, do you even know? Do you even know the last time that you was disobedient? Was that really the last time? starts in the house, judgment starts in the house of God. Before we can reach the people, we got to check ourselves. I don't want the line broken that when I touch, that is broken and I can't get to them like I need to. I can't touch God and then touch them. Church, check yourself. It's time for us. Time is short. It's too many souls and too little time. But for Zion's sake, For my sake, 
shit. That's what's gonna take care of your problem. Preach a well-rounded word. Don't just preach one side of it. When he died for me. When he felt the need to spare my life. Several times before I came in. That was love. That was love. That was grace. And that was mercy. So after I identify with that. Sugarcoat! 
your stuff. And I'm tired because God's tired. And he's tired of somebody trying to change it. This is no time, church. Yeah, I'm not, t and one thing about it, we don't reject the homosexual. You are welcome to come inside Revelation Church. But guess what? You can't operate. You can't move around like that. Why? Because we serve a God. We obey the word. And guess what? We serve with clean hands. With no sin attached. And if there is sin among us, repentance is in this house. So let me tell you this. I don't want nobody saying we don't welcome you. You can come here. But let me tell you, if you really want to meet Jesus, there will be a change. I can talk to the alcoholic, because once he delivered me, no, it's not okay for you to have a sip every now and then. No, it's not. Some things that other people are not condemned about, that's them. But whatever God tell you know about, that's what you don't do. It's time for deliverance in the house, in the houses of God. It's time, it's time out for the rotating doors. They come and go the same way. No, no, no. Saints of God, we got to set the atmosphere for deliverance. We got to keep the atmosphere for deliverance. We got, when they come through the door, they got to want to change. We got to saturate the building. And the only way that happens, we got to lay ourselves down first. We got to get rid of ourselves. We got to be ready for that. Do we truly want that? You got to check the reason why you come. Check the reason why you here. You got to check the reason why you don't want it. We got to check it, because for Zion's sake, Zion's sake, for the kingdom of God, Zion's sake, there's a song that said Zion is calling for a higher place of prayer. Why would he call you up? Why would he call you there if it wasn't necessary? Why would he? And he, if he called you up, that means you're not there yet. If he's calling you up, you look and say, why is he calling? Because you're not there. And when I say you, I mean we. Because there's a collective call. There's an individual call. There's an individual call that I got to answer to. So when I'm not around you, I got to go prostrate because I got to come up. And then when we get together, if you answer the call too, there's nothing but a come together and go up. Church. 
church, it's time. It's time for Zion's sake. And on last Sunday, I said I feel the stretching, the enlargement of hell. I'm not going to take my place in there, even though somebody probably would have wanted me to. But then when I came in this morning, I already said, Devil, you a liar! You have attacked our bodies. But you, cause you can't get our minds. You tried to attack our money. Cause you can't get our minds. Cause our mind is stayed on you. That's what he's been doing. He's been trying to attack everything that surrounds us. Our way of doing things. He want to make us tired. But I pray the strength of God that we continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine, in the laying on of hands, casting out devils, healing the sick, treading on serpents. Saints of God, I pray the strength of God. And I'm calling him out for what he's trying to do. But I rebuke the hand of the enemy. You will not. You will not have my mind. I don't care how you attack my body. As my mother would say. I move with the cloud. <laughs> you know, sometimes we can say, I don't care what nobody else do. I'm going to do this. I don't know about you, but you, I mean, we say that behind the book. We, I don't know what you, you know, I don't know about you, but I love God. I don't know about you, but I do care what you do. <laughs> Because I'm supposed to be connected with you. I have to be concerned. Because if, I'm, if I'm supposed to connect with you, I can't connect with somebody with foolishness. I can't connect with somebody that want to disobey God. I got to call you on it. So get mad at me if you want to. But if I bring it to your attention, understand it's with love. That's one thing that's wrong with the house of God. Nobody can't say nothing to one another. Because if they see you do something that's not like God, they don't want you telling you, telling them about it. But if I'm not mistaken, it says, Paul, it, it, in my terms, pull their coattail. Why not? Because I'm trying to embarrass you. But I want you to make it. I don't want you falling short. I got to tell you. I got to come to you. I'm, I am my brother's keeper. I have to do that. You say, why you got to do it? For Zion's sake. Zion's sake, we're supposed to connect with strength. But if you weight it down with issues, how are we going to go up? I got to pray for your issue. And then after I pray for your issue, I got to make sure your issue didn't attach itself to me. Because when the Spirit of God calls us up, we got to be able to go up we got to be able to call stuff out, and it has to go. 
Zion's sake. What are you doing it for? What are you doing it for? Why are you calling? Why are you coming? Why are you not coming? Who you think you punishing by not coming? Who you think you hurting by not coming? You not hurting me. Because if you not coming bothers my salvation, that means I wasn't here for God. I was here for you. But since that's not what's bothering me, I'm saying to you on Zoom, Facebook, and any other media that's going to watch this message, check yours. Check you. Check why you come. Check why you do what you do. Check yourself. This is serious. It's serious. This morning's Sunday school lesson was serious. I don't know. See, I don't know when God speaks, he can speak blessings. He can speak what he wants. He's God. But you will want to do what he say. You will want to get yourself in order. Because when he speaks, that's it. He don't take counsel. He don't sit here and this ain't to swap me. He don't make deals. He makes no deals. If he tell you to do something, do it. If he say do it, because if he tell you to do it, because he, what did he tell Judas? Whatever you're going to do, do it quickly. Go do it. That's what he told the one that betrayed him. If he told him that. See, Judas didn't even realize he was a part of the plan. Because he was so caught up in what he had already done. But he didn't realize he was part of the plan. But he said, whatever you're going to do. Th and then you, you sit, you sit, he sat at the table. Now, two things happened at the table. Somebody was close enough to sit here the heartbeat of God. John was right at his heartbeat. But Judas was so far away from him that he told him the one that did. And Judas not even realizing he did it. Now, after it was done and he recognized that he did it, it was nothing else but to finish it. And after, see, I'm saying what God speaks. I don't want to be on the other side. If it's not right, if God is calling to saying stop. I want to be on the side of blessings. That's why I said we have to do a well-rounded word. Because God is a God that he all knowing. He's a God that's well-rounded himself. If he created us, if he wrapped himself in flesh, just to fill us. Just to fill us. Just to feel our infirmities. Just to feel the stuff we go through. He wrapped himself in the stink of flesh. So we can overcome. So when he says something. It should be, yes, Lord. It should be. But for Zion's sake, for the kingdom of God, 
I don't want to be found with work undone that he's told me to do. I don't want to, when he called my name, I don't want him. Because see, after he called you, after you finish here, there's nothing else to say about what you didn't do. Nothing else, because he said a liar ain't going to tell. And let me tell you something, I'm so glad that he saved me, because I was a liar. I made up unnecessary stuff. See, that's probably why I can't stand that stuff. I can't stand an unsolicited lie. I can't stand that. I didn't even ask you nothing for you to lie to me, and you lie. I can't stand. I ain't nobody. And you gonna make up a lie that's just like. I can't stand it. But I thank God he saved these lips. Because he didn't just save me. He saved these lips. He's all of me. I thank God he saved me from the lifestyle. That people are right now trying to. Bring it to the church and say it's okay. I, I'm here today. I, I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm not going to apologize. Because he had to, uh, I cannot be silent in that way. I cannot. Because of my love for God. Anybody that come in my path, I got to tell them God didn't do that. Why? Because he changed me. He changed me. My family loved me. But because they stood on the word of God, they said, we love you, but we, you already know. Don't bring that stuff in here. I, they didn't allow me to disrespect them. And if it seemed like I was disrespecting them and their walk, I was told about it. And I'm grateful of what they wouldn't take. Sometimes you got to understand when your parents won't take some stuff from you, it's to help you understand respect. So I'm grateful. And why? Because of So I stand today reading the scripture. For Zion's sake. We got to do this thing. People need God. People need God. So we got to do what we're supposed to do so they can meet God. Not my agenda. Not your agenda, but God's agenda for Zion's sake. Thank you, God. And my answer will be yes. Lord, yes. Amen, amen, amen. We thank God for the word. We recognize the spirit and the move of God. And my answer will be yes. Lord, yes. And amen, amen. Lady P was telling me she had already planned to sing that song. Zion is calling me to hire praise of praise lady p would you come up at this time as she make her way if there's anybody that desires prayer first of all she already told you you must be born again there's one way and one way to god we're going to be in that bride in that church triumphant and guess what you must be baptized in jesus name 
and fill with the Holy Ghost. And you can't receive the Holy Ghost until you repent. So the order of it is repent and be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. And you shall be filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost. You can find that in Acts 2.38. That is the formula of receiving the Holy Ghost. There's been places where someone has, has repented and had not yet and received the Holy Ghost and didn't get baptized yet. But guess what? They did. Because God wants to complete. The new birth must be complete. So it is essential to be baptized in the name of Jesus and filled with the Holy Ghost. Because we got to go up when he come. Zion is calling us to higher plane of praise. But there's going to be a call up when he, Jesus comes for the church, the bride of Christ. And it's going to be called up. That bride is going up. We will go up together to meet the Lord in the air. And we will forever be with him. But we cannot be weighted down with sin. Sin will keep us weighted down. So we must have the sin and removal formula, which is found in Acts 2.38, where Peter spoke that word on the day of Pentecost. He told everybody after they asked the question, what must we do to be saved? Repent and be baptized, every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sins. We shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. It's not just to you that's listening now, but to your children and your children's children. And to many that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God should call. That means we were included. That's us. We're the far off. And it came to pass that I'm saved today. So the Holy Ghost is yet falling. And then the saints, that, that same body. The same group that was with Peter on their Pentecost that received the Holy Ghost, they came back together in the fourth chapter of Acts. Ah, after they went through something, they came back in their own company, testified, prayed. Ah, then the place shook. Glory to God. And there was great grace. Ah, and they came out of there with more boldness. Ah, they had it already, though. But see, it's an ever-growing, deeper depths in God, higher heights in God, no stagnated saints. Higher, they came out of there with more boldness. So they didn't stop in the second chapter of Acts. They moved right on through the Bible. Ah, and we're in Revelation, all right? Hey, we don't stop at the pool. Move, Hatabo Shanda, and get some greater grace, great grace come out with more boldness to speak the truth. Why? For Zion's sake. Ah! Ah! The glory of God. Zion is the glory of God. Glory! At this time, Lady P is coming forth. If there's no one, and if you want to comment, put your prayer request in the comments. Put it in the comments on Facebook or in Zoom. Guess what? Prayer goes on and on. Amen. And it reaches in the house and out the house. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He's in the house. And we say yes and amen. We recognize the move of God. And that is such a blessing. We not we not boasting in, in that, but we boasting in Jesus that we can recognize the move of God. And he works on all ends. Someone, someone, this is talking to somebody. Because for Zion's sake, ah, for Zion's sake, ah, mm, help me say this. Zion is calling me to a higher place of praise to stand upon the mountain. And to magnify his name, to tell all the people oh, yeah. and every nation that he reigns. Zion is calling me to a higher place of praise. Mm. Zion is calling me to a higher 
a place of praise to stand upon the mountain and to magnify his name to tell all the people and every nation that he reigned uh, Zion is calling me to a higher place of praise. Help me say Zion. Zion is calling me, is calling me to a higher to place of praise. To stand upon the mountain, the mountain and to magnify his name. to a higher place and she said the reason it's a higher place because you're not there yet hallelujah from the place you are hallelujah. he's calling you up higher hallelujah. Hallelujah. hallelujah you can be higher than me hallelujah but he's still if still. you still here still. breathing he's calling you higher. higher hallelujah 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 is calling you higher Hallelujah. Praise God for the word of God on today. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. All we're doing right now, we get ready to turn it over to the hands of the pastor because God has spoken. God Zion, spoken. hallelujah. What's spoken. your reason? What's your reason, Zion? Glory to God. Whoa, We're just giving Zion. you space Come right now. now. Those of you that are online or in the house that have an offering, this is your opportunity that you can give. We have several ways of giving. You can find us on Givelify. You can find us on Zelle. You can find us on Cash App. Hallelujah. And we say thank you in advance. And this is good ground. Our endeavor is to go up higher. higher Hallelujah. Higher, Our higher. endeavor is to go up higher. higher, higher Our endeavor higher. is to hear the call. Hallelujah. And answer the call. Hallelujah. That's our endeavor is to move with the call. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we just saying thank you in advance, in advance, in advance. Zion is calling me to a higher place of praise. We're going to turn the furtherance of the service 
into the hands of our pastor. Say amen. Amen, 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 amen. Praise the Lord. Say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. My God, did you enjoy the, the, amen. the move amen. of the Lord, the, the word? Evangelist Diane, not only in Sunday school, but also she brought brought the word this morning as well. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We thank God for that awesome word. Thank God for Zion's sake. For Zion's sake. Glory to God. And that's what is it. And I love it when she says, it's not about me. It's not about you. It's not. It's for Zion's sake. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Beautiful word. Beautiful. And, and it's at the right time. Glory to God. Glory to God. Again, we thank God for each and every one that was able to mess, press their way out this, this morning. Thank God for the ones in different medias that are joining us at this time. But again, we thank God for the word. Thank God for the move of God. Glory to God. Isn't that awesome where, you know, people feel that, okay, you know, you got to have this. He said, where two or three are gathered in my name, there I'll be in the midst. Glory to God. He said that for a reason. Glory to God. He know that at some point in some time, hallelujah, but it didn't stop the word of God. Glory to God. And yet went forth. Glory to God. Again, we thank God for each one. Glory to God. At this time, we get ready to dismiss, but again, we thank God he did it again. Glory to God. He keeps on doing it. He did it again. Glory to God. We know that different ones was tired in your bodies and different things, but God has a way. Hallelujah. He did it again. Glory to God. He keeps on you know, just showing up and showing out. Glory to God. I, I, you know, uh, last night we enjoyed, we had a great time, but did you notice that one of the questions on that sheet when the last time you lied. And I know every one of us, when you read that, you was kind of like, you know, it, did, it, was, it, it wasn't a thing that you took lightly. You looked at that seriously because you know that that's not what you want, that's not what you do. That's, God has delivered me from being able to do that. And if you had this something, you repented for it. But it's just the point though, some things have got so commonplace, so commonplace, where they can ask those different things, just like that. And so it, it allows us, so, so it, we are in a place, this is where we are now, where we can ask the different things, and, and it would be like it's just asking a question. And it was, it was all, we know it was all in fun and different things, but sometimes when you look at things, you take it more, you know, you're looking at it more, you know, for a little bit deeper into it, you know, so. But I thank God again, like I say, for, for this is why he was you know, why he evangelist when she was the preacher for Zion's sake. We can't get away with those things and have attached to you and be able to want to make it with, with the Lord. Glory to God. So again, we thank God for each and every one. And one more time, we want to say happy 60th birthday to evangelists at this time. Happy 60th birthday. Glory to God. Those are milestones. Those different times went from 50, 60, 70. It's a blessing that you're able to make those. So it's a, it's a blessing. So again, we say thank you. Happy birthday. And we thank God. For, you know, we all had a beautiful time. But again, we thank God that, again, he did it again. Allowed us to come out and enjoy the word of God from Sunday school all the way up to now. But again, we say thank you. At this time, we're going to stand and be dismissed. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we thank you today, O oh Lord. We thank you, O oh Lord, for the teaching word this morning. We thank you for the preach word this, after this morning as well, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we thank you for all that was said and done, O oh Lord. Oh God, help us to be able to do everything, O oh Lord, that's right in your sight. Help us to do everything that's pleasing to you, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. For Zion's sake, hallelujah. Glory to God, help us to be all that you're calling us to be and do your will, your way, O oh Lord. Continue directing God, us, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, as we leave this place, but not your presence, we ask you to bring us back at the next appointed time. And we'll forever give you the honor, we'll forever give you the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen and amen. Glory.